So this is my ACDC albums ranked worst to best video. Um, so for this, I'm not doing um, the live albums, not including the live albums, which I haven't even talked about uh, in any other videos because I don't really, I haven't really done any live albums yet. I'm not sure if I'll start doing those. Um, I'm also not going to include Jailbreak and Who Made Who, um, just because like Jailbreak's more of an EP, I guess, and Who Made Who's kind of a compilation with like three new songs. Uh, so I'm also doing the U.S. versions of the CDs. Uh, I don't have the Australian versions. I've never listened to them. Uh, so I have I think 16 albums here. So I'll start with uh, number 16. Uh, it's Ball Breaker. This one, um, I just, uh, I've never really liked the production of it that much. Um, I like a couple of the songs on it. Uh, Burning Alive, I think it's pretty good. Um, but just not, not one of my favorite albums of theirs. I think that, like, uh, I don't know, just, the production doesn't really work for me. Some of the songs seem like the, the lyrics are maybe a little bit dumber than usual, just not, not my favorite ACDC album. But still, I don't, I don't think it's a bad album. I don't really think any of these albums are bad. Uh, so number 15, uh, Black Ice. This one, when it came out, um, I kind of thought at the time, like, okay, there's the, the singles are pretty good, and the rest of it's a little bit forgettable. Uh, when I was listening to it this time, my action, my opinion of it rose a little bit. Like I, I was expecting to to dislike it more than what I did. Not that well, I'm kind of phrased out. I mean, I I like it, but not as as much as some of their other albums. Um, but basically, I I think my problem with this this album is that it has too many songs on it, um, and it's it's kind of so long that you, I kind of lose focus, and so I don't really. I don't, I don't know, I don't like pay enough attention to the individual songs. Um, if I listen to it kind of like broken up, then I, then I can appreciate it a little bit more. But for me, this one's kind of a little bit long. Um, some of the songs are just kind of okay. It's like, to me, they could have, could have probably like dropped a few. Um, so number 14, uh, Rock or Bust. This one, I, I think a lot of people like Black Ice better than this one. I just, for me... It's just, it uh, prob probably helps that it's a little bit shorter. Um, not really why I picked this over Black Ice, because for me these are like really, the last three albums they did to me all kind of are very similar in a way. Uh, but I'm just not really, I, I probably picked this to listen to over Black Ice maybe just because I, I think it's shorter. And, um, yeah, that's, that's really about it, because um, I'm, I'm kind of doing this list in the order of which one I would pick to listen to if I was choosing an album to listen to. So, uh, number is it 13, I think, uh, would be their newest album, Power Up. This album, I think, has the most, like, potential to climb in my rankings as I get used to it, because each time I've listened to it, I've kind of liked it a little bit more. Um, I think that the, the songs of their, like, three most recent albums might be the strongest on this one, uh, but it it kind of has like a, a weird sound to me, like I, I think that the production sounds a little bit weird, um, something in the in the vocals sounds sounds a little bit weird to me, so that, that took some getting used to it, this album, but um, overall I think that this, this is a pretty strong album from them. Uh, so number, I think, 12 would be The Razor's Edge. This one, uh, just never really got that into it growing up. Um, I would usually just kind of listen to, like, the hits to, or the singles like Thunderstruck, Money Talks. Um, I don't even think I listened to Are You Ready, really, then. I, I listened to The Razor's Edge, like that one. Um, but other than that, I didn't really listen to this album that much. Uh, Listening to it this time, I actually liked it a lot more than what I remembered, uh, because I remember not liking it that much at all, but I actually thought, think it's a good album. Uh, still don't really like the song Mistress for Christmas, and some of the other ones are maybe a little bit forgettable, but still a pretty solid album. Uh, 
Next stiff upper lip. This is, uh, so I think, 12th. Uh, this one, I don't know, maybe it's nostalgia why this one's so high, but I just kind of like the kind of bluesy feel of it. I, I like the songs, even though I'll admit when I listened to it, uh, when I listened to it this time to review it, it wasn't as good as what I, I thought it was. Uh, but still, it's still an album that I like quite a bit. Uh, so I said that was a what I don't I don't remember what number I was on. I think this eleven uh, fly on the wall. So this one uh, to me, like the, the production's not that great, uh, especially on the vocals, but. I think that it has some strong songs on it. Um, I, like most of the songs, I like pretty well. Uh, but just the the production kind of kind of kills it a little bit for me. Uh, next, and this is going to be kind of my well, maybe my first really controversial pick of the group. Uh, I have it number. Nine, actually, I think no, nine. Um, I've uh, let there be rock. The so the first Bon Scott album on the list. Uh, this one, I know a lot of people really love it because it's it's really heavy, really guitar oriented. Uh, and I mean, yeah, that I, I like that too. But for me, it's just I think it's kind of short. Which I know I was saying I, I like rock or bust because it's short, but that's kind of in a, in a different context. This is more like I would have liked if this was a little bit longer I feel like in some ways but then also like so the the American version has Problem Child on it which was already on Dirty Deeds for us and um, I'm, I'm not well I'm not sure which orders came out because these came out like you know before I was born uh, but to me, Problem Child fits better on Dirty Deeds, so I like to think of it as being on that album. And cause to me, it seems a little bit out of place on this album, and so that kind of takes it down a little bit for me. And then just um, some of the songs, I, I mean, they're you know heavy and they got a lot of guitar and stuff, but I just don't find it as memorable as some of the, the other ones on some of the other albums. Uh, this is also going to be really controversial, probably, that I have this one this high. But uh, blow up your video number uh, what, eight now. Uh, I really like this album. I don't know why. I don't know if it's nostalgia. Maybe I just found this album at the right time. But I honestly, I, I like every song on it. Um, it's strangely one of the. If I want to listen to an ACDC album, a lot of time this is one I put on. I don't don't know why. I just really like this album. I couldn't put it any higher than this and be like, uh, not like think I'm crazy. But anyway, yeah, number, I think, eight, uh, blow up your video. So, number seven, uh, Flick of the Switch. This one, uh, I, I like pretty much all the songs on it. Uh, I think it's, uh, I don't know, I, I think it's kind of underrated. Uh, but I think that, like, more people are, are coming to appreciate it. Uh, I think that it would have been like really awesome if it had uh, Mutt Lang producing it. Like some of these songs, like like Badlands, like Badlands would have probably sounded badass with like the the Mutt Lang production, like he did on For Those About to Rock. And like I get the band, we're getting kind of sick of of dealing with all the time in the studio and stuff. But I honestly think like For Those About to Rock sounds great, and I think it was worth it. Whatever he was doing was was worth it. <laughs> um, but so yeah, flick of the switch. Uh, so number, uh, did I say six? Number six, Dirty Deeds. Uh, it's another Bon Scott one. This one, uh, I I like it a lot. Kind of, kind of just put it this low because I, I don't know. It's it's not one that I listen to the most of of his. Uh, and I mean, is it, I do like like it. No fun waiting around to be a millionaire, but it's not something I want to listen to a whole lot. Um, but it's it's a good album. Uh, so next, number five, uh, for those about to rock, 
Uh, this one, like I said, I really like the production on it. I think that I think the songs might be just a small step down from Back in Black, but still um, really, really good album. Uh, and I think it just sounds really good. Uh, so number four, I have Voltage. Uh, another album that some people probably like, you have that really high, but uh, this, and this is the US version, not the, the Australian version. Uh, but I don't know, I just, I really like these songs. Um, it was one of the first albums of theirs I really got into. Uh, and it's one of the ones I always go back to and listen to. Uh, so number three is uh, Power Age. This is another one of the kind of early ones that I bought and one of the first ones I got into. Just uh, another like really good solid group of songs from them. Uh, and then this is probably also going to be kind of controversial, but I have uh, Back in Black is number two for me. Uh, I really like it. Uh, love every song on it. Definitely, I think this was actually the first ACDC album I ever heard any songs off of. Uh, always gonna gonna be one of the best, I think, uh, like hard rock albums. But I I like um, Highway to Hell better. So uh, number one, uh, Highway to Hell. Uh, I don't know, I just, I like, love every one of these songs too, and uh, just just love them a little bit more than the songs on Back in Black, so uh, that's the uh, the list, probably kind of crazy uh, for some of those picks, and um, if you're new to the channel or whatever, uh, I'm just trying to uh, review like most of the albums in my record collection or CD collection. Uh, and doing it kind of band by band in order. This is kind of really like the first one that uh, I feel like I've done right. Um, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna start on the Beatles next. Not sure when the first uh, video for that will be out, but. Uh